guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be the top 10 tips and strategies to conquering black friday 2017. tip number one is to have a shopping partner it's easier to have a shopping partner with you just in case you're all in the same store you guys want different items you can have one person go get the thing for you if you want the same item that they have that they want and you can go get the one for them so just like if you guys want the same exact item for two separate things, it's on two separate sides of the store. So the thing won't run out. You guys can also split up and just get everything that everybody else wants and just give them their thing. And you guys can pay for it at checkout. Tip number two, make a list of all the things you want before you get to the store. It's nothing like being unprepared because a lot of times people are really crazy for the deals that they think they're getting. So make a list of all the things that you want before you actually get to the store so you won't get there and forget something. Tip number three, compare and contrast items and prices from like different major retailers so you can know exactly which store you want to go to and what exactly you want to get. Try to weigh the option of like going to Target, going to Walmart, which one have the cheapest prices for if you have more than one item that you want, which one you end up paying cheaper for for both items. Because sometimes one may be higher at the other and one may be lower at the other one. But like when you combine the prices, you probably pay less at Target than you at Walmart because one price may be higher at that one. For, for the same item than it is for the other one. So just compare and contrast the prices from major retailers before you head out. Tip number four, wear sneakers. Do not try to wear slides, heels, and all that kind of crazy stuff because you will be walking around a lot and you don't want your feet to start hurting or you end up having to buy shoes, become more comfortable shoes because your feet are hurting. And also people like to step on people's toes so you don't want your feet messed up. People like to what well, they don't like to, they'll run over your feet with a cart or a kid or a stroller or something, something may happen to your feet. So just wear sneakers and socks so your feet can be protected. Tip number five, arrive ahead of time. Arrive ahead of time so you know, like, because sometimes they have door busters and there's only a limited amount of items. So arrive ahead of time so you can ensure that you get what you want. Tip number six. Bring multiple credit and debit cards because sometimes there are major holidays or if it's out of your spending patterns, credit card and debit card companies like to flag your account just to verify that it's not fraud. So if one account is not going through, you'll have a backup account for another card. You just you can just call the bank and or the credit card company later. So you won't have to end up having to put your stuff back because you don't have enough funds. Or you could just have a lot of cash and just pay in cash. But I wouldn't recommend that because people do like to get, people can get robbed. And um, yeah, that's like a really, I don't think that's would be really comfortable just walking around with a bunch of cash. Tip number seven, do not bring your kids with you. Kids seem, seems to be a distraction. If you don't have, only way I would suggest bring your kids with you if you don't have absolutely anybody to watch them like if your mom can't watch them a babysitter or anything then you bring it with you but if you can avoid it do not bring your kids with you they're a distraction they may be picking up stuff um you turn your back somebody make it take stuff out of your cart when you're trying to deal with your kid or you're not looking especially if it's something that that person wants so do not bring your kid with you if you can help it tip number eight shop online most retailers have the same exact items that they have in the store online so you can avoid the long lines and all the extra crowds and craziness by just shopping online tip number nine if you're buying a computer or any electronics item try to do your research ahead of time because you don't want to think you get in a deal for a computer and it doesn't have all the qualities or the features that you want for that computer or like for a camera if it doesn't have all the qualities or thing features that you want to happen in the camera and you already done bought and spent your money on it just try to do like a research before you actually get to the store for the stuff that they're having on sale or you can do like a quick google search on your phone or amazon search on your phone and look at quick reviews for what people have already said they liked about the camera or the computer or printer or anything like that dealing with electronics and tip number 10 after you bought all of your items for like major retailers and stuff, say if you're connected to a mall and you don't want to walk through the mall with all that stuff, put your things in your trunk. Do not put it in plain sight 
or anything like that because you don't want people to break into your car to, to steal your stuff out of there. And then you have to go through your insurance, you have to pay a deductible, and also so you end up being out of pocket for way more money that you actually spent at the store. So if you have like a trunk or something, or if you don't have a trunk, if you have like a wagon, like a Kia Soul or something like that, try to like bring a blanket or whatever. So when you put the stuff in your car, since they don't have like specific real trunks, you can put the blanket over it so everything is covered and it just look normal in your car. Thank you guys for tuning into my channel. These are my top 10 tips and strategies to conquering Black Friday 2017. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment down below for anything you want to talk about. Buy my ebook Football Wags off of Amazon Kindle for 99 cents. Kindle Unlimited, you get to read both parts for free. All my social media links will be down below. Thank you guys for tuning into my video. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.